graphic extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to combine Photoshop brushes with fill layer content as well as adjustment layers and smart objects. I'm using Photoshop CC 2014. So, let's first thing to do just go to a layer, create a new layer, new layer, layer, click OK. Now go to the brush tools, and the brushes I'm using are butterfly design brushes from Graphic Extras. Just apply that. Just click there. And now first thing, I'm just going to go over here to styles. And I'm just going to apply a style, just a basic style, nice gel style. So you get a nice sort of plastic gel butterfly design straight away. Then I'm actually just going to go to select load selection because what I want is the selection transparency so click OK Ooh, notice I've already got another layer there that was probably from a previous tutorial anyway so this has now got a selection and I'm going to go over to a layer new fill layer and the gradient I'm just going to add a gradient to this and I'm just going to add the great because I've gone for the selection I can actually confine that gradient to this basically butterfly so click OK now initially that's not very inspiring, as you can see it's just a basic uh, gradient there, but these ones the gradients are from Graphic Extras again, but you could of course use any uh, gradients you can find on the web, as well as ones you've created yourself. So I'm just going to modify that, I'm going to go for a radial option, so there's a nice radial brush stroke, now I'm just going to add it to the, the centre there. Click OK. So now I've got this, that, I can actually go to a layer and a new adjustment layer. And I'm gonna go for curves, but I could go for any of the other ones, photo filter, maybe to apply different color effects, or color look up again to apply different color effects again. So curves, click OK. And I can modify now that design there and anything obviously that's underneath it. So, uh, so I can just create a super colorful butterfly design there. Now, what I want to do, I'm actually just going to combine those two together. So I'm just going over here, curves and gradient fill. Just combine that one and a layer. And just go to layer, smart objects, convert to smart objects. So, right, now that is one complete entity now. So I can actually move that one around still. Now, the underline, the actual curves now does not modify the text there and if I had some other design I'm just going to quickly show you that I'm just going to create a design there so I've actually got sort of colorful design so there you have the curve is actually not modifying the underlying image it's connected to only to that butterfly design now once it's been done I can actually of course apply smart filters as well so I can actually just go over here camera raw filter I don't have to apply just one adjustment layer. Of course, I can actually apply multiple ones. I can apply multiple smart filters as well. So you can maybe blur the image or do various other effects. So I can modify the tint or temperature of the design. Maybe that might make it bluer, make increase exposure or darken the design, change the contrast, the clarity, make it slightly more blurry. And of course, there's many other options as well. I can actually apply to a certain part of the design. So I can just go over here, maybe I want to affect that, just that part. And I can just brighten that part by increasing the exposure. Right, click OK. And like I say, I can apply other effects as well. And also, once you've actually done that, you can actually go back. This is just as basic as smart object. You can actually go and layer and layer style and you can apply maybe a bevel to that design itself change the depth Find that. click ok and on and on you could of course convert that again to a smart object apply multiple adjustment layers to that as well hope you found this tutorial of interest